I've got a couple of facts that we've noticed from your um, your IMDb page. We want to see if it's true yeah. or false. Okay. You got that? All right. Yeah. Here's David Spade here. It'll, just a quick celebrity true or false. Here. Celebrity true. Keeping it real. Or false. Uh, worked as a skateboard shop employee. True or false? Uh, the bear cover in Tempe, right by ASU. Yes. What was that like in a skateboard shop? Just It was good. I used to skate. Did the old AZ pipes. You did? Yeah. Okay. I did the pools. How good were you? I got to where I could do aerial. Once you could get aerials out of pools, it lost me. Okay. Because I I tried to do an aerial on an aerial axle stall, and then I fell backwards into the pool, and I broke both my wrists. Yes. Then I got better, and then I <laughs> broke my wrist again. And then my mom said, you can't skateboard. I go, because you're so worried about me? She goes, no, because you're horrible at it. <laughs> yeah. Keep falling in. But that, but I still like follow Tony Hawk on Instagram to be like, hey, I'm in the mix. Yeah. Skateboard. Yeah. The one time Tony Hawk cool. was here, he put me on a skateboard and I fell right on my oh, ass. Oh, no, really? Oh, yeah. That You're, guy's still good. I can't believe how good he is. I'm not, I'm not very good at it at all. Well, it's I not mean, your thing. There, there you we can, go, right there. You're a good but I, learned, I learned how to fall. I, you can run in a straight line, I heard. You can run I can out. do that. I could definitely do that. That's good. Uh, next fact you have a degree in business from Arizona State University. That sort of sounds like a lie. It's a, Maybe th I said that because everyone thinks I went to ASU. I really only, I didn't even graduate. I went to SCC, and then I went to ASU for a semester, but I was in a fraternity, so I was bombing out so bad, I started doing stand-up, and I just bailed. So then your stand-up career took you out of college, basically. Thank God. It was a lull there, obviously. But All I, right. I Fake got six news. credits. And I'm probably about 180 credits of short. <laughs> <laughs> I might pick it up next summer. So then uh, your first season on Saturday Night Live, you only appeared three times on the air. Is that, that true? That sounds about right. Yeah. What, what happened? You just not good. No, um, stop. No, I wrote, but I'm writing against Dana Carvey. You know the competition there with just the writers are Conan O'Brien, Bob Odenkirk, Robert Smigel, mm -hmm. uh, Jack Handy, and then you've got Jim Down. Everyone is already good. And then you're also Mike Myers is writing, and all the cast and Sandler and Dennis Miller. So everyone's so uh, way better. I didn't. I wasn't ready for it, and then I was just sort of not quite at that level. And then I got better over the years, but. Just too tough. So hold on a minute. Jack Handy was the name of an actual writer? Yeah, that's a so real the, guy. Deep the Deep Thoughts? Thoughts, yeah. Were they actually his Deep Thoughts? Yeah. Was and he, he the one also who... also sketches that were great. Did he voice? Was that, he was that his Toons voice too? He wrote the cat and all those weird ones. The cat who drives a car. Yeah. <laughs> Every young person is like, huh? No, that's not true. Plug in my ox car. No, don't. Come on now. That's young people. No, we, no. we get what's so, going on. I'm a Polaroid guy in a, yeah, yeah, in yeah. a Snapchat world. Yeah, so SNL oh, was it. tough, but I got on more and more. I never got on as... And Dana Carvey was a better version of me. He was so good <laughs> that I was sitting right there mostly because yeah. they thought he was retiring and he didn't. So I was the backup. I was, you know, Aaron Rodgers. So what was, the, what was the one big moment for you to break through? I think then? I did one called The Receptionist. That was pretty good. Yeah. And then I started doing Hollywood Minute. And then Lauren, my boss, was like, yeah, yeah, do that again next week. I'm like, oh, oh he's talking to me. Okay. And then two weeks later, do it again. I'm like, okay, I got something. And then the last one that we've got here, sure. uh, you have a tattoo of uh, Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes on your left bicep given to you by Sean Penn. Is that yeah. a true story? That was from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. He was in town. I didn't really know him, but I heard he could. he was trying to do tattoos on potatoes and stuff just to see if he could do it. So I said, oh, it'd be funny. My arm's like a potato. So I uh, called, I got his number from someone and he said, yeah, I'll do it. So he came over and then he, uh, <laughs> I took him to some biker bar with some hell's angels and he couldn't do the one I wanted. So we had to pick one right then because we were filming it. And I interviewed him while he did this horrible tattoo. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's horrible. You, to the point where- I, I started, I took it off once, like it takes a while. But then I go, no, I like it just because it's... Why'd you choose Calvin? Just because you like it? Because we were all like, what's the easiest one he can do out of the newspaper? <laughs> so I was like, can you do Snoopy? I knew it was going to be horrible for the rest of my life. But I needed a bit for the show. It's before Jackass guys. There you go. Wow. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.